like that. Oh, he puts it in. One, two, three. He makes it quick and easy. Fantastic goal, really it was. Makes a slight throw. Oh, he's got a man through a goal here. It's a stunning goal from Ovi. What is going on everyone, my name is Ovi and in the following minutes I will show you how to defend in FIFA 15. In this video we will start with the basics and finish with some advanced features of defending. Before we get started, if you are enjoying this type of content and wanna see more, go smash that like button and let everyone know where they can find the best FIFA 15 tutorials. Number 1 in our list is the Jackie movement, which is the secret to a perfect defense in FIFA 15. After that we will talk about the standing and sliding tackle, how and when to use them. Last but not least, I will address a problem that many of you are having this year, stopping the players that abuse running, near the sideline or in the middle, it doesn't matter. After watching this tutorial and if you will follow my advices, stopping these kind of players won't be a problem anymore. Starting with the jockey movement, in order to perform this move you will need to press L2 on your PlayStation or LT on your Xbox controller. I made sure to put all the controls in the bottom of the page so you can understand better. What does this jockey movement do? Well, your player takes a new stand which will help him to be more aggressive and get the ball faster and more efficient from the opponent. This move will increase the efficiency of both your standing and sliding tackles. It will work amazing especially when it is combined with the standing tackle. What you need to do is to use the jockey movement and stay at approximately 2 meters away from your opponent and after this press the standing tackle button to take the ball. This kind of defending technique is risk free when you do it at a distance of more than 25 meters away from your goal. In case you haven't mastered yet this combo, I advise you to use only the jockey and just try to keep the 2 meters distance from the striker. This way, in the moment that he will make a wrong move, you will get the ball without ever risking and making a tackle. That could mean a dangerous free kick or a penalty in case you missed it. The standing tackle technique is efficient also while running. Let's say you have anticipated where your opponent will go. So you are running towards that area. Once you are again 2-3 meters away, do a standing tackle and possession of the ball will be yours. The sliding tackle is particularly efficient. When your opponent is running and making a standing tackle is not enough to reach the ball. Sliding tackles are extremely good this year so do not hesitate to use them. They are a great weapon in defending as you can already see in these examples. Now that we have spoken about these three very important aspects in defense, it's time that we address a very big problem this year, stopping the players that abuse running with the ball. We have two different ways of doing that, but all of these ways have one thing in common, anticipation, thinking two steps ahead. This is the secret as you will see in the following moments. The first and best way is to anticipate your opponent's direction and just run with your player and intersect with the striker. If you would want to take the ball immediately and run besides Ronaldo with your player, your chances would be very low because of the big difference of speed between Ronaldo and your defender. But by applying this method, you will just cut his way and get the ball. You can use a standing or a sliding tackle, both will work fine if you are in the correct position with your defender, as I explained at the beginning of the video. Another great way of defending in these situations is to close down the angle for your opponent by retreating with your defender and covering the ground as shown in these examples. In this situation he will be forced to change his direction and eventually he will lose the ball. Remember that anticipation and patience are the key to stop runners. You need to think two steps ahead and stop trying to get the ball immediately. That's how you leave gaps in your defense. When you see a player that is abusing sprint, just retreat a bit with your player and try to see the direction where your opponent is going and then close him down. This concludes our video for today fellas. 
I hope you enjoyed it, I've got some more defending and attacking tutorials on the way, all you need to do is subscribe so you don't miss them. Thank you for watching, if you appreciate the video, don't forget to drop a like, 550 would be fantastic. My name is Ovi, see you later.